What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we are gonna continue with the combat series. This is the third episode so I will be linking the previous two episodes in the description so you can check them out. Also, this video is gonna require to have seen my health system tutorial and also the enemy AI tutorial. Uh, they're very simple to follow and very fast to watch so you know, just go ahead, check all that and if you are updated, come back into this tutorial. All right, so now let's get started. So right now we can go ahead and attack, of course. And also we have uh, an enemy that will follow us and will attack us. But of course right now the health isn't doing anything. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, let's make that our enemy can actually apply damage into us. So let's go into the enemy blueprint, go into event graph, and let's just go ahead and just drag this here. So we're gonna go into the place where we go ahead and follow the player and where we go ahead and attack in the name montage section. Let's just drag this. I'm gonna say uh, sphere. And we're gonna choose sphere overlap actors. This will basically create like an uh, sphere, uh, an invisible sphere that will basically get everything that is inside. And if the player is inside the sphere, we'll go ahead and just uh, decrease his damage. So uh, let's create a point where the sphere will start. So I just go into the viewport and just go into the mesh and just add a arrow, okay? Let's go ahead and just place it around here, just rotate it a bit and just put it a bit in front. We can go ahead and change this later on. You just to have something to spawn it right now. Just go ahead, drag a sphere, and then say get weld location. And just plug that in into the sphere pause. This will this is where uh, you know the sphere uh, overlap is gonna create. And then the sphere radius is how big. In my case, I'm gonna say around a hundred, but we will you know customize it as we go. And then in object types, this is the object that it will detect. So we're just gonna create a variable, and then we're gonna go ahead and compile here go into the default values to add one i'm gonna say that it's gonna search for pawns as our player is a pawn and we can go pow again then in the out actors we are just gonna drag and say break and we're gonna do a for each loop with a break so it will loop through all the actors that we uh, search and we're gonna find the player so this will go into the execute and in here it's gonna be incomplete right gonna continue when it's completed and the loop body and you just, just get the array element so basically one element of the actors that we are looping from so each pound that we find and um, what we can do is just apply damage and then we'll connect this into the loop body I just go ahead put this one around here and basically now we are creating a sphere and we will loop through all the pawns that are in the sphere. And if there are any, we'll apply damage. Uh, later on, we're just gonna control that that is another player or another enemy. Right now, we will even apply damage to like a, you know, a wall. So we're gonna control that in a second. But let's test this. But real quick, we have to apply a base damage. In my case, I'm just gonna say, for example, 20. So just compile and save. Now let's go ahead and test this. My player, my health bar is uh, in the corner, so you can check it out. So my enemy will see me, will go here, and is attacking. You can see how my uh, health is decreasing. It's very fast. So let's go ahead and control a bit the damage. In my case, I'm gonna go in here and just put around five of damage. Compile, save, and go back and hit play. And just go here. And now it's a bit more leveled. I mean, you can customize this. Also, you can go ahead and customize uh, the, the duration delay. Right now, it's set to the duration of the animation, but you can like increase this into like maybe five seconds, and he will only attack every five seconds. Uh, you know, this is totally customizable into your aspect. Okay, so we're gonna do one more thing, and it's control that is the player. So uh, basically, what we're gonna do is just drag this and then say has tag actor has tag. Okay, I'm gonna make a branch in here. And I'm gonna make it loop body and true. And basically, we can just say that if the actor has the tag player. So let's go ahead and compile, save, and go into our player. And then just go into the, you know, the 
top uh, self update and just go into details and search for tag and here you just add one and just say player Sorry. player uh, you need to write it exactly the same as we did in here okay so now it will basically only attack the player so it will not be like dealing damage into like walls and things like that which you know wouldn't cause a big of a problem but it's just much better like that all right so now let's make that we can do damage into the enemy so let's go into our player character we can see that in the uh, other episodes we already created a line trace that will basically apply damage into what we hit well let's go ahead and create a quick health system into the enemy so uh just go ahead and create a new variable let me just health and it's gonna be a type of a floor we're gonna call the the event any damage will be caused when we receive damage and basically we're gonna set the health system to be health subtracted by the damage that we received then we're gonna make a branch that if the health is less or equal than zero if it's true we're gonna destroy the actor it will play an animation in in you know in the future episodes right now we just get destroyed and false well we're gonna uh not do anything so okay we're good we can continue uh dealing him damage and set the default damage uh health so it's gonna be 100 and we can now go ahead and preview this so let's just go ahead and say print and what we're gonna print is basically our current health we'll make a quick health bar on top of him in a second by the way guys right now i'm gonna uh get um you know rid of the aerial swing it's just too much on anim the animation so i'm just gonna uh get this one which is pretty cool and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it into here you can do the same in the future episode we will add more proper animations and now we hit play we go ahead and are dealing damage as you can see in the top corner of course just a bit so let's go ahead and increase that but I prefer to just uh, make his dad his health, you know, his math, max health is 10. So go ahead and just start going ahead and getting him. So if we actually lower him into zero, he dies and we destroy him. We'll add a animation that for death in the future. So let's go ahead and just make a quick uh, health bar into him. So let's go up here into UI and I'm just going to go here and duplicate my previous health bar health enemy it's gonna be called and let's go ahead and open it so we can now go ahead and just drag it pretty much into the center and just put the pivot on here so now we can go into the get percent make sure that we're in the health enemy and look at it and instead of a cast into the third person character we're gonna basically go ahead and cast to the enemy ai now the enemy ai is not a player character so we cannot do it that way what we have to do is just a bit of a mess honestly but it's what we have to do right now and it's and it's get all actors of class and bp uh enemy ai and then what we have to do is in get all actors gonna boop and break it and then we're gonna get this one and this one is gonna be all right so we're gonna loop through all the actors that we can find an enemy i'm gonna cast into it and then i'm gonna get the health so health and plug this in here now the division the max health is not 100 i said to be 10 you can of course customize that as you want so place it like that okay so now the widget will be set but of course we need to go into the enemy and add it in my case it's gonna be a 3d widget so i'm just gonna go into the add section and i'm just gonna set a widget okay there we go so now it's just in widget class just search for the health enemy and there it is just drag it on top here compile and save 
if now look we have the widget and we can go ahead and deal damage and the health bar will actually start to decrease which is really cool now let's make that the health bar will always look at the camera let's go to the enemy into the event graph and get into the event tick as this will happen in the update so let's go ahead and make a sequence so we can just go over here up so we can do more things and it's gonna be basically uh get camera get player camera manager this one was sorry and we're gonna get the transform component we're gonna get the world location of the camera right now we're gonna find a look at rotation and this is gonna be target right and the start is gonna be our widget get world location and place in here now we can just do this and set world rotation and it's gonna be for the widget and then we'll just pass the new rotation here so now we compile and save and press play you will see that our a widget will be always looking at us all right so that's it guys i'm gonna leave this tutorial right now and here uh we have basically made that their enemy can actually do damage into us you can see the health bar in the corner and we actually can uh, deal damage into the enemy too and he has his own uh, health bar so if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful please like and subscribe to the channel we're so near of reaching 1k subscribers so please help me out reach this goal and with all that said bye bye <laughs>